Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's all right today. On our prayer list, Becky's tumor came back and they found another cancer in her back. Pray the doctors can help her. Teresa's brother had a blood clot in his brain which caused a stroke. He had two surgeries and another on Thursday. Pray he'll be okay and get better. YC's son Ben fractured the fibula in his ankle. When the swelling goes down, he'll be fitted for a cast. Pray he'll be okay and for a quick recovery. Our car is making a noise. Pray that nothing bad or expensive is wrong. I don't know what it is. We'll have to have it checked. Uh, Gary had to go to the ER with pain in his side. Might be kidney stones. Pray that he'll be okay. Pray for Rico. He's in the hospital. Kenny Ross has a mass on one of his shoulders and doctors are positive it's cancer because it's consuming his shoulder bones. Pray they can help him. Kim has an unspoken request and Twyla needs prayer for a sale. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 14. Then 21 through 27. Just as a body, the one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. So it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slaves or free, we were all given one spirit to drink, even so the body is not made up of one part, but of many. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weak are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. While our presentable parts need no special treatment, but God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it. So that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should be, have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each of you is a part of it. Okay. All right. Uh, the devotion today is entitled Lower Deck People. A friend of mine works on a hospital ship called Africa Mercy, which takes free health care to developing countries. The staff daily serve hundreds of patients whose ailments would otherwise go untreated. TV crews who periodically board the ship point their cameras on its amazing medical staff who fix cleft pallets and reset club feet. Sometimes they go below deck to interview other crew members but the work Mick does typically goes unnoticed. Mick, an engineer, admits being surprised about where he had been assigned to work, in the ship's sewage plant. With up to 40,000 liters of waste produced each day, managing this toxic material is a serious business. Without Mick tending its pipes and pumps, Africa Mercy's life-giving operations would stop. It's easy to applaud those on the top deck of Christian ministry while overlooking those in the galleys below. When the Corinthians elevated those with extraordinary gifts above others, Paul reminded them that every believer has a role in Christ's work, and every gift is important, whether it's miraculous healing or helping others. In fact, the less prominent the role, the greater honor it deserves. Are you a lower deck person? Then lift your head high. Your work is honored by God and indispensable to all of us. What happens when you compare your gifts to others, with others? Which lower deck person can you affirm the efforts of today? I'm important to you, God. Thank you for noticing me whether others do or not. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.